Hello and welcome to the A4 Institute and in this video I will explain the concept of the you know the life cycle of tinea solium. So tinea solium has three larval stages. It has three larval stages. The first is oncosphere. It is called oncosphere. The second is called hexaganth. It's called the hexaganth. And the third stage is known by two names. Either it is called cysti, uh, cysti, uh, cysti carcus, cysti carcus, or else it is also known as bladder worm. Bladder worm. Now, uh, right here you can see the picture of tinea solium. It looks uh, somewhat like this. So this basically has three larval stages: oncosphere, hexaganth, cysticulcus. Now the oncosphere, uh, the oncosphere, is the infective stage for the secondary host. So it is the infective stage for the secondary host. So it's the infective stage for the secondary host. And the secondary host in this case, the secondary host in this case is pork or pig, you can say. The secondary host is pig. That's why tinea solium is also known as pork tapeworm. It's also known as pork tapeworm. Pork tapeworm. I don't have space much so it is called as pork tapeworm it's also known as pork tapeworm so the secondary host the secondary host that is the pig is attacked by oncosphere the cysticulcus the cysticulcus or the last larval stage attacks the primary host it attacks the primary host and the primary host is none other than man and man get you know man gets tinea solium inside him when you know on the consumption of undercooked measly pork so undercooked measly pork okay I'll, I'll tell you that later so the primary host is affected by cysticulcus and the secondary host is affected by oncosphere so that's pig so that's why it's also known as pork tapeworm so these are the three larval stages now basically tinea solium can uh, can cause three disease uh, two diseases so the f one disease is known as teniasis it's known as teniasis and the other one is known as cysticulcosis cysticulcosis so it is known as so it is known as cysticulcosis. So teniasis, you know, teniasis is caused. Teniasis is caused due to the consumption of. So teniasis is caused due to the consumption of undercooked, undercooked measly pork. So undercooked measly pork, or simply pork. Measly pork, undercooked measly pork. And cysticulcosis is caused due to the consumption of undercooked or unwashed, unwashed fruits and vegetables. So unwashed, unwashed, unwashed 
fruits and veggies so unwashed fruits and veggies so that's how cystic necrosis is caused and that's how teniasis is caused undercooked measly pork and under wash un unwashed fruits and veggies now the last thing we have to know is that the teniasis is basically caused by the cystic urcus worm the teniasis is basically caused by cystic urcus worm and this is a very important question this is a very important fact so teniasis is caused by the cystic urcus worm so teniasis is caused by the cystic urcus worm and cystic arcosis is caused by the oncospheric oncosphere and cystic arcosis the cystic arcosis cystic arcosis is caused by oncosphere it is the oncosphere the oncosphere larval stage which causes cystic arcosis and teniasis is caused by the cystic arcus so it's quite the opposite thing that takes place so we have to remember that and that's all and that's all about we have to know about tinea solium thank you for watching this video